Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocery Land. We are on week two of our $25 per person per week grocery challenge. We have been doing great. Um, I am sticking to my suggestion of making a meal plan. So first make your meal plan um, of items that you're wanting to eat up from in your own home. And it doesn't have to be, you know, every item that you are eating for the week. Whatever meals that you're gonna eat from your own supplies, start with that. Um, fill in next what ingredients you'll need to complete those meals. Obviously, you're gonna spend some of your budget on that. And then once that is done, check those flyers and you are gonna shop and spend your money on items that are on sale to restock your pantry and make the rest of your meals. Um, I just wanna talk a little bit about online shopping and why online shopping isn't for me. Um, I know a lot of people love it. Um, I have family members that really like the convenience of online shopping and doing the grocery pickup. Uh, but for me, I prefer to go in store because I always like to look for clearance items, manager specials, in-store specials that aren't necessarily advertised online and you don't get to see those if you don't go into the store. Uh, we are going to take a look next at my meal plan, um, what I am looking to have for the week and I'm gonna give a little tour of how my garden is doing. Um, we'll check out the groceries that I am gonna get, and then I'll include some of the meals at the end. You may be watching this on our YouTube channel. You may be watching this on our Facebook page. Um, either way, share your comments. I love to hear where you're from. Um, and if you have found um, the suggestions and the sharing that we're doing helpful, thanks so much for watching. So for the meal plan this week, actually, we have a lot of food um, where we have pizza left over, so we don't need anything for that. Um, we have company coming. Uh, the company that was going to come last weekend is coming this weekend, and we have two things planned. We are going to make a charcuterie board. Um, I already have a few things. I'd also like to get grapes and some salami or, or other meats for on the board. They're bringing a few things. Um, and with what we both have already, I don't think we'll need anything other than that. Um, we are going to have a little pub night. Uh, I have leftover nacho supplies. Um, we also have some shrimp that we bought last week when we thought they were coming. Um, so we still have that to go with the pub night. Um, I have some frozen dip supplies in the freezer. So I don't need, um, I don't need to... to get anything for that. Um, we're definitely going to be having beer can chicken this week. Um, so whole chicken on the barbecue. I don't need anything with that. We have lots of items here that we can have as sides. Um, we could have burgers, we can have ribs, uh, we could have lo mein with pork and veggies, and I, I really wouldn't need anything for any of those um, meals. There are a few things though that have been on my mind that I'm hoping to get. Um, I'm hoping to get sausages they are on sale. Um, I have had it in my mind that I'd like to make homemade fish cakes. Uh, that's kind of a random thing, I know, but I would need to buy some kind of um, fish. So haddock or canned salmon, um, but I'm going to definitely take a look when I go grocery shopping um, to see what I can get. I need hot dog buns, and if we have fish cakes, um, we're going to want to have those with eggs. So I think that I might need to get eggs as well. So those are some items that I'm looking to get. Um, and then I'm just going to fill in whatever I have left um, available in the budget with items that are on sale. Today was the last day of the flyers. And there was a couple things that um, I wanted to pick up before um, the sale switches over. Uh, I did go to Walmart, um, particularly to get an English cucumber. They were on for 67 cents. And when I was in there, I got the nan bread um, that I had on my list. And I'm actually kind of excited about this. Garlic and cilantro. Um, that seems like an interesting flavor. And those were only $1.97. Um, they are the Walmart brand. So that was at Walmart. 
then I went to Superstore. And the main reason that I went to Superstore, um, two things. I wanted to get some more of the pork, boneless pork chops that were on sale last week. I got a really great package for under $6 and they were sold out. Um, so I asked at the meat counter if I could get a rain check and they said yes. So that actually works out great. Um, I'm going to be able to take advantage of the price and I don't actually have to spend any money this week. I still have um, three left in the freezer. One separate that we're going to have with the lo mein and two packaged together that we can have um, some night on the barbecue. So very exciting. Um, and I got them to fill it out for two packages. The other thing uh, that I wanted to take advantage of, and today was the final day, I am a PC Optimum member uh, that is free. All you have to do is sign up for it. It's a free program or rewards program. And in Canada, you can use them at Loblaws stores. So Atlantic Superstore for us here on the East Coast, Real Canadian Superstore, No Frills, um, as well as... Shepherd's Drug Mart. Anyways, there was a special offer just for me, um, for my cardholder number, and it was PC Frozen Vegetables for $1.99 a bag. Um, I went in looking for two bags of broccoli, one bag of the mini Brussels sprouts, and one bag of the petite peas, which we really like. Um, and as is the way in life, uh, they didn't have those. So I was able to get one bag of peas um, on the fly. I kind of changed uh, plans and got two packages of cauliflower instead of two packages of broccoli. And I got a vegetable medley. And those were $1.99 each. Um, special offer just for me. And I had success um, getting fish uh, for those fish cakes that I want to try. Um, so this was on for 50% off, so I got this pack for $3.99. Uh, this was not even on my radar uh, when I was picking out the discounted fish. Um, I saw that they had this crab-flavored seafood on sale. Uh, the packages were by the pound, um, and this pack was $0.89, cents, and I'm really excited. We are going to make um, a crab dip. So total at the Superstore, I spent $12.84. And at Walmart, I spent $1.97 and 67. Um, that would be $2.64, 264. The next uh, few items came from a couple different stores. Um, I was out of our regular area today and I shopped at a couple stores um, that aren't normally available to me. And one of them was No Frills, and they had these 18 packs, so individually packaged um, cookies on for $2. And I thought those would be great to have for lunch snacks to go in our lunches. And they had um, buns on for $1.88, so I spent uh, $3.88 at No Frills. Um, I also went to Fresh Cuts. Um, somewhere that I don't normally go and they had seedless grapes on for a dollar 47 a pound and I got this bag for actually a dollar and 48 cents um, so I thought that was a great deal uh, then I went to Superstore and I got a package of charcuterie meats um, so this was 100 grams and I got it from the deli counter and it, it is by far um, the cheapest option. If they have options available that you like for on your board, uh, this was just mild um, Genoa salami or Genoa, I'm not sure how to say it. And I paid $3.81 um, for 106 grams. And the cheapest um, that I have been able to find um, charcuterie meats are just much more expensive than that packaged. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, and I also got this red onion and it was outrageously expensive. I can't even believe that I paid $2.04 for this one single onion when I can get a bag of regular onions for $2.49. Anyways, it is what it is. I wanted it especially for a couple different salads. 
Um, it's always nice to have a red onion when you're making a fresh salad. And then I had my sister pick this up for me. Um, I always get Kirkland brand mayo. Um, it was always a really great buy. Uh, around the five dollar and fifty cent mark, maybe maybe pushing six dollars, and it is Hellman's mayonnaise actually. Um, and then when you actually buy the Hellman's mayonnaise at Costco, um, it's about a dollar more expensive a bottle. I always thought that was a great buy. Anyways, um, it is salad season, so potato salad, um, dips, deviled eggs, all the kinds of things that you would normally use mayo in. I thought that getting a big bulk pack. Um, would be great and I did not know that the price had gone up to eight dollars and 49 cents or I simply wouldn't have picked this I would have waited for a smaller jar uh, to go on sale um, somewhere locally but you live and learn prices are going up um, this used to be such a, an amazing value and now um, it's no more of a value than just getting a couple bottles which fit smaller size bottles which actually fit in my fridge better um, waiting and getting them when they're on sale. So these, with the groceries that I already have, bring my total budget um, to $35.18. So I'm actually just going to wait a little bit longer. There are a few things that I would like to pick up, um, and I have a little bit of the budget left to do that. I was really fortunate, and I was able to get a flash food box this week. This was $5 at um, Atlantic Superstore, and it has a cauliflower, um, four loose green peppers, two loose orange peppers, and then a three pack of peppers. So that was a, an amazing value. And these Tony's um, wieners were on $4.98 cents each, and I got two packages. At Giant Tiger, um, the chicken wasn't on sale, so regular price, $4.47, but I saved $2, so $2.47, and I got a dozen eggs. Um, they are farm fresh eggs uh, for $4. So in total, um, everything that I purchased this week was $49.63. Um, I had a carry forward from last week of $0.98. Cents. This week, I have a carry forward of 37 cents. Um, so my total carry forward is $1.35. I'm sure I can find something for that next week. Lunches, toast with jam. For supper tonight, we are just having leftover pizza from last night. It was delicious and made a lot. Two meals, made enough for two suppers. Our garden isn't ready to produce lettuce. Um, our spinach production is pretty much finished, but um, the other half's parents' garden is producing really well and they gifted us um, lettuce and spinach. Incredibly exciting. I love both. Supper tonight is a charcuterie board. The company that we were going to have last weekend is here this weekend. So along with items that I already had, um, they brought some stuff with them as well. So with the two combined things, we were able to make these big boards, very exciting. Um, this is our leftover uh, red pepper jelly. Um, I got the grapes and some of the meats on our grocery budget this week. They brought some meats with them. We had the pickles, we had the strawberries. We had the chocolate, um, we had a borson cheese, but they also brought a borson cheese. Um, so we only used one of those. They brought um, snap peas, they brought little baby bells, they brought the little clementine. Um, we had the cherry tomatoes. Uh, so these are leftover nachos from our supper the other night. They brought some crackers. We had some leftover crackers. It's looking like a really good supper. I'm pretty excited. Lunch today is eggs, bacon, hash browns, and toast with jam. For supper, we are having beer can chicken. Very exciting.
Lunch today is salad and a few grapes. We're having pub night for supper tonight. Leftover chicken from the beer can barbecue chicken. Um, so we're having chicken nachos. We are also, I made a dip. Um, I had this in the freezer. It was artichoke and tomato. And then these are some of the shrimps that I bought last week. Um, very exciting. And here are some popcorn chickens that we had in the freezer. So pub night tonight. I just got home and was unpacking my bag from work, bringing out my empty lunch container. And I realized, oops, I forgot to take a picture of my lunch. It was leftover nachos. And you can see there the remnants. I put salsa in with it. Supper tonight is ham barbecued hamburgers, barbecued sliced potatoes and coleslaw. A leftover hamburger and potatoes for lunch today. Bruschetta for lunch. Um, these ones were a little more difficult to make. The baguette was really crusty. So every time I tried to slice it in those little round circles that you normally get um, bruschetta on, uh, it, it broke. So I started slicing it bigger and then slicing them lengthwise. So you can see like the curved spot is on the bottom. So they didn't stay on the pan that well, um, but I'm sure they're gonna taste great. Traditionally, fish cakes uh, would be a way to use up leftovers, leftover fish, leftover mashed potatoes. But in my instance, I am actually making them. Um, so this was the haddock all cooked up and flaked. And I added in chives and Nova Scotia summer savory. I'm going to cut up some chives from out of my garden and add it to the haddock and mashed potatoes um, that I already have mixed together. This is how the fish cakes turned out. Um, I got eight. So what we're going to do is have four with our supper tonight and I'm going to freeze um, the other four to have, maybe not for a meal next week, but maybe the week after that. They smell good so far. Look good. Supper is fish cakes, fried eggs, and spinach salad. I broke the eggs. You can see the yolk. Oh, well. Everything looks really good. Making some oatmeal bread. Um, I threw some of the flax seed in there for fun, so hopefully um, it all turns out. This is the leftover carcass bone skin from the barbecued whole chicken that we did. Uh, I'm going to boil those down to make a soup, um, but we stripped all of the chicken off of the bones to make uh, chicken nachos. So I'm actually going to use one of these um, thighs and then I will freeze the other three thighs. I was able to save a few random little spinach leaves still out of my garden for my soup. The bread turned out great. Today for lunch, chicken soup and homemade bread. When you think about it, uh, lo mein is a really inexpensive meal. I buy these instant noodles when they go on uh, two for $2.50. And you can see there's like um, one, two, three there. There's six in each package, so really inexpensive. These Bangkok style vegetables, I always buy my PC frozen vegetables um, when they're on for $1.99, um, a bag or less. Every once in a while, um, I buy them at $2.49, but Let's just say $1.40 or $1.99. That's my preference. And this is one pork chop from the package that I bought last week. The package was under $6 and there was five pork chops in it. So this, I'm going to add these noodles in. And I have made my own teriyaki sauce. 
So really inexpensive. This will definitely feed us for two suppers. The only thing that I added in extra, um, because I got the flash food box, I used the half of a orange pepper. It smells pretty good. I'm really looking forward to this. I made some biscuits because I am going to make some strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. This will just be a very quick update. Um, it's been raining all day. It's really wet and damp outside and the mosquitoes are out in full force. Our tomatoes are doing amazing. All kinds of flowers. Um, we even have a couple tomatoes starting. Uh, I have several different varieties. These ones here are early girl. Those ones there are yellow pear. Down here, I have Carolina gold. And then my little ones, these ones are the ones that I grew from seed. Um, these ones are Rucker and Beefsteak. Down here is my rhubarb. Uh, I picked it and I learned something this year and that was not to cut your rhubarb. Um, you actually pull it out by the stalk. The brain of the rhubarb is in the base and it will tell it that it needs to grow more leaves. And I was incredibly surprised. I thought this is it, it's gonna be the end. Um, and that is all brand new. I had picked it, picked everything. Quick little look here, the onions are doing great. And then we have potatoes here, here and here, everywhere where you don't see anything growing. Um, down there is broccoli and cauliflower. The beets aren't doing that great. Um, we've never grown beets before, so I'm not sure if that's where they're supposed to be. They look um, like they are under growing to me. We have eggplant here. Um, this is the pepper patch. Maybe five or six different varieties of peppers here. Here are strawberries. And we just put these in this year. We didn't actually think that we were gonna get anything, um, but we are. We are getting flowers and we are starting, if you can see there, we're starting to get berries. So that's super interesting. We've got peas, we've got beans, we've got zucchinis, squash, um, cucumber, we have melons, and over there is the raised bed and we have um, radishes. We planted a pumpkin in there there's some kale in there and we put some carrots in. Um, we're not sure if it was way too late for carrots, but we're gonna give it a try. The ladder space saver. That's doing really well. Everything else is doing okay. These are all the specialty peppers that we're growing. There's my green onions, still doing well. Here we have the Hungarian um, hot peppers, my scallions, more peppers, the dill. That's one tomato, a couple chili peppers. There's more spaghetti squash, so doing really well. I feel like we had a really successful week. Uh, we ate some really delicious meals, um, some leftovers. I have some leftovers for next week and I'm looking forward to um, seeing if some of those items that I was looking for this week that I didn't find, um, if I'm able to get some of them uh, in my budget next week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video um, and let me know your thoughts.